Hi, in today's video I'll be showing you how to uh, add a password or secure your files, separate files on the Android with a password or uh, an extra layer of security. It's very simple, all you need to do is go to settings. Now this version that we're using is the Android Nougat. You can see from the settings here we're going to go to security and privacy. Then we're going to go to under pri privacy, we're going to go to file safe. It's going to tell us, ask us if we want to enable it. We're going to tap on enable. And then here, usually, if you have an SD card, it's going to give you the option between internal storage and SD card. Since on this phone we don't have an SD card, we're just going to tap on internal storage. Now it's going to ask you to set a password. We can just set any password we want and confirm the password and done then it's gonna ask you to enter some security questions uh just gonna put it in anything here and done after that now if you have a phone that uses fingerprint uh, recognition you can associate it to access these files using your fingerprint or the fingerprint sensor or uh, the password so I'm just gonna put on associate here to associate the fingerprint now here you have all types of files so to add a file to this encryption or this password or this safe you can just tap on for example if you want to add an audio file so we're gonna tap on audio and we're gonna tap on add at the bottom of the screen and let's say we're gonna add this file here we select it and you tap on add and it's been added now if you want to access it it's gonna ask us let's just step out for a moment and try to access the file itself so files audio and it's not there see it's not it's not in the files itself it needs to be accessed through the safe show hidden files okay show hidden media files and go back see nothing so even if we try to access it from here, you can't access it. Okay. Now let's go back here. Settings. Security and privacy. File safe. Okay, so either use the password or use the fingerprint. So I'm going to use my fingerprint. There we go, audio, and there's my file. So I can use to open it which way. Now, it's more reliable if you use it for uh, really important, really confidential files to uh, hide them. It's got, yes, we do understand that it's a little bit more complicating to, um, to open these uh, files. Uh, using like to get to get access to these files it's more complicated than just opening them through the file explorer or through um uh, through your gallery but it's if it's a really confidential file it's worth the hassle and that's pretty much it if we want to remove it we'll just go to same place select it and remove default location or custom location so if you want to change its location you can go to custom location pick a new location for it if you want to go move it back to its custom location or def uh, sorry default location just tap on default location and it's back in its default location let's see where did it go and files audio and there it is, right there. That's the file that we hid from before. So even if we 
activate if someone accesses your phone for any reason and activates uh, the to show the hidden files still it won't appear unless you get it through the safe of the phone so it's kind of like a virtual safe for the phone this feature is in is a built-in feature in android itself and uh, it's very useful if you have for example any work related files that you don't want anyone to get access to except yourself now in order to disable this you can go to settings and then security and privacy file safe and then open it with the fingerprint or the password and then settings destroy safe now destroy safe if you still have files within that safe it's going to give you message after fingerprint now the safe and all files in it will be deleted okay so you can either choose to move these files to another location if you don't want these files deleted when the safe is deleted or uh, if you uh, don't care about the files or if or if it's an emergency that needs these files to be destroyed you can just go to uh, go and tap on confirm and that's it the safe has been completely destroyed there's no files in the safe anymore and that's pretty much it well thank you for watching